I was from a single mother, a single income. I used to have to mow lawns to pay for my little league and my all-star team, and just to pay for my own glove. The communities of Central Phoenix have experienced a decline in athletic opportunity due to high cost of travel teams and youth camps. In 2009, Sean Payton set out to give the kids an opportunity to continue their athletics through the game of baseball, creating a program named OTB. I was coaching at Camelback High School, and we had ninth graders, and I was teaching these 14, 15 year olds how to hold a four seam grip and how to put on a glove, some of them. And I couldn't believe that at that late of age that they were learning the fundamentals and the basics that a five year old or a six year old or an eight year old would learn. OTB strives to inspire and motivate children to become better people on and off the field with a baseball themed tutoring program. This not only promotes academics, but is also fun and engaging. Well, if you're teaching character development, that transitions to school career life. We want them to go to ASU and be a Sun Devil or Grand Canyon and promote our end state colleges or even our junior college, Phoenix College, Scottsdale community. I can go on and on, but we want to show the importance of education and see in their face and when they do well in school to transition that into the field and in life in the community. The biggest challenge OTB encounters is money. The Diamondbacks Foundation has funded the program for the past two years, but due to funding issues, OTB was cut. In hopes to keep it alive, the school district stepped up and used school funding to support the OTB dream. The Diamondbacks jumped on board by supplying the program with free tickets at the end of the year for all seven schools involved. It's just great. A lot of these kids are in their bubble. They haven't been a mile or two past their home. So to take them to 7th Street and Jefferson over the bridge, a lot of these kids have never seen the bridge or been over the train, the railroad tracks, going into Chase Field. And we kind of do a fun scavenger hunt. They have to find certain things and objects in the stadium, and then we give prizes out towards the end of the game. OTB has a vision to keep kids out of trouble. The program has seen children in their community stuck, which ends up leading the kid down the wrong path. With guidance, the hope is to open a new door to opportunities. I mean, it's like a passion, like having fun. Be like happy, not mess around instead of going out like in the streets doing something bad. Outfield go two! If you're not giving, you're not living. And a good coach can manage and go through the motions and win games and give the attaboys. But I strive, and my staff, my student athletes strive to be the best coach. And my opinion, what a, the being the best coach is, is bringing the best out of every student athlete that you come across. All 60 of those kids per school. And we strive daily with our staff to bring the best out of Luis, out of Steve, Samantha. Even if it's just gripping a baseball the right way or being allowed to put on their glove on the right hand, those small things are difference makers. And that's what separates our program. Throw it to first. Get him out. Get him out. Throw it. Catch it.